Oh my God, it has finally happened. Elon Musk has officially purchased Twitter. So after a back and forth battle with Elon Musk becoming the 9% shareholder to outright making an offer to buy the company and Twitter basically saying, no, we're not gonna do it. They came back to the table and decided, you know what? This is in the best interest of our shareholders. And they have sold the company for $44 billion. And I had a really good question come up that I want to touch on. And I think it's important to understand this because one big thing that Elon Musk talked about was how he wanted to take Twitter and make it private again. So as we know, right now, currently, Twitter is a publicly traded company. So if you go on the stock market, you can see the stock price for it. And immediately once this was announced that he was buying it out, the stock immediately went up 5% and it looks like the after hours is trending up as well. But what does this mean? If he goes from a publicly traded company to a privately held company, what does this mean for the shareholders? And this, so what does happen when the company switches from a publicly traded company to a private company? Well, anybody that's holding any shares of Twitter at the time it switches from public to private will be bought out of their shares from the investors who purchase Twitter. So in this case, it would be Elon Musk and any other investors who were part of this buyout. Now, immediately what happens after the buyout of these stocks takes place is Twitter is taken off of the stock exchange altogether and is no longer able to be purchased from a public standpoint. So that's when the switch is actually finalized altogether is once all the stocks have been purchased back from the investors, but also when the company has been delisted from the stock exchange. So I wanted to share that with you because that was a great question that was asked to me by a good friend of mine. And as I mentioned to you, as I get research and I do research and I learn more, I like to share that knowledge. And so that's really what this video was all about, was not only the excitement of the news of what could potentially become of Twitter, but also what to expect for your stock. So again, this is something that I learned something and I hope you learned something as well. And if you did, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification because I am always dropping new content about finances, about ways to invest and ultimately just give you some ideas that might help you get where you wanna go financially because as I learn, you learn too. So I hope that this video helped you guys. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.